So, I'm back. I know you're happy. You missed me. I know. I'm back. Calm down. Calm down. So today we're going to be talking about, and it's the same day, I'm not going to lie, because I'm wearing the same shirt. I can't even pretend like it's a different day. I could have changed my shirt, but I don't keep shirts. It's there. Addition and subtraction with scientific notation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. What does that look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? This sounds like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at addition and subtraction with scientific notation. I'm just going to do an addition problem for you. And we're going to take a look at two numbers and we're going to try to add them together. So let's say we have 2.76 times 10 to the third. And let's say we we're going to want to add that to 3.25 times 10 to the six. So we have an addition problem here. So in order to do this, we have to make sure that we have the same exponents. Same base with the same exponent. Now right now we have the same base, which is good. We have bases of 10, but we don't have the same exponents. This one's got an exponent of six. This one has an exponent of three. So we want to try to get them to have the same one. Now which one? Do we want to get them to both be three or do we want them to both be six? You always pick the higher one. So in this case, we're going to try to get them both to be 6, because 6 is higher than 3. So in order to do that is, I'm just going to rewrite them times 10 to the 6. Well, since I'm not changing anything here, I can copy this one down exactly how it is. 3.25 times 10 to the 6. I don't change it around. I don't play with it. This one copied it right down. However, this one over here, I did change it. I changed it from 10 to the 3rd to 10 to the 6th. So now I have to make sure that I take that into account when I'm talking about the decimal places. So since I changed this from 3 to 6, I changed it how many? 3. I changed it 3. So I'm going to have to go ahead and move this over 3. 1, 2, 3. So now this is 0 0.00276 times 10 to the 6. Now, if you look at it, I really didn't change anything here. I just changed the way it looks. These are both the same numbers. Because let's, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and take a look. 2.76 times 10 to the third and 0 0.00276 times 10 to the sixth. These are really the same exact numbers. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, well, what do I mean when I say that? Well, if we go ahead and we move the 2.76 over 3, because it's 10 to the third and it's a positive 3, so we're going to move it over to the right. If I go ahead and I move that over 3, 1, 2, 3, I get 2,760. Now let's take a look at the bottom one. If I go ahead and I move that over 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is still 2,760. So all I did was change the way it looks. I didn't change the number. I just changed the way it looks. These two are saying the same exact thing. That is why I'm allowed to do this. If not, the math gods would come and get me and take me away because it's not allowed. But luckily, it is allowed in the math world. By the way, Math World is a really fun place. I recommend that you go there sometime. Math World. I don't even know if that's a real place. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we take a look at these two problems. Now that they have the same base with the same exponent, now we can just go ahead and add the coefficients. If this was a subtraction problem, we would go ahead and we would subtract the coefficients. But it's addition. Everybody likes addition. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the only key thing that I can say do here is make sure that you line up your decimal points. If you don't line up your decimal points, you're probably going to get the wrong answer. So let's go ahead and do that. We line up our decimal points, 0 0.00276. And again, we're adding because of the addition sign right there. We fill these in with zeros, and we go ahead and we add, and we have fun while doing it because, let's face it, math is fun. 0 plus 6 is 6. Yay. 0 plus 7 is 7. 0 plus 2 is 2. I'm getting excited right now. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 is 2. Carry down the decimal point. And then 3 plus 0 is 3. We are done with that step. Now we just have one more easy step. And that's just 
recopy everything down and put it nice and neat and make it look pretty because everybody likes things that look pretty. So we just copied down this number 3.25276. Just copy it right back down. And then we keep the same base, keep the same exponent. 3.25276 times 10 to the 6. Let's make sure that these follow the three things for this to be a scientific notation, proper scientific notation. Well, first we have to make sure, is the coefficient a number between 1 and 10? Let's take a look and look at it. Let's take it. Yes, it is. 3.25276 is a number between 1 and 10. That is the good one. That's the, probably the one that most often will not be the case. Well, and do we have a base of 10? We do. Do we have an exponent? We do. This is written in proper scientific notation. And I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. And so, this has been a lesson on addition and subtraction with scientific notation. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have been your host, Mr. Amidon. Don't you forget it.